Welcome back to my channel and here I am with another tutorial. On this video, we'll give you a basic idea how you can make a dual piping. You can add a quarter of an inch thickness foam or a half inch thickness foam. Uh, this is just a basic idea. You can apply this technique to a dashboard, door panel, center console, headliner. For a seat, if it, the surface is uh, flat, you can use it. But if it, uh, you're going to apply them on the side panel, um, there is another way how you can do it. And I will uh, show you uh, that later on another video. So first, you can cut the, the width of the piping. Uh, I, most of the time, I cut it by inch and a quarter. That's what I get, inch and a quarter. Sometimes I give like inch and a half, but that's once in a while. With inch and a quarter, is more than enough. Inch and a quarter, then you will divide it by two and you will uh, draw a line and then you will cut it. Make sure to use a, a pen. Don't use a permanent market on vinyl because if that vinyl get wet, uh, whatever uh, market, permanent market you use it, uh, maybe you will see through it if it get wet. So make sure uh, don't use a permanent market. I don't recommend it. And same thing right here. Inch and a quarter, two pieces, the orange vinyl and the red vinyl, inch and a quarter. Then I divide it by two and I draw a line exactly on the middle. So simple, so easy. I got two pieces. That's for the piping. The piping that I will use is a 1-8, 1-8 piping. I'm not going to show you how you can cut the pieces that will be around the uh, double piping because that's not the purpose of this video. This video, it, it is just how you can make a double piping. So uh, you will take it to the sewing machine and you can see right there. And first thing right here, you have to put a stitch exactly on the middle. Exactly. See? Grabbing two pieces, the orange and the red. Make sure to, uh, to make the stitch as small as, as small as possible. Don't make the stitch too big, please. Don't make it too big. Make it smallest. And then you keep sewing. And there is the red piece, and there is the orange piece. This is just an example how you can make it. So I got the two pieces sewing together. What I'm going to do next, you see I split it, and you can see it, there are two different colors right there sewing together. So I will put the piping on one side first, and then I will put the piping on the other side. And this will look beautiful. So I put the tube in there and then I start sewing. I will make the stitch a little bit uh, big right here. and sewing. There you can see it closer. And there is one side. And there is one piping already. And let's do the same thing on the other side. And 
and there are the two piping. Now I'm going to sew those piping into the that can be fabric, can be leather, or can be vinyl. I'm going to use vinyl. And that vinyl have a quarter of an inch headliner or padding. I recommend you to put padding on it. With half inch, I look beautiful too. If you uh, are not sure which uh, density or which thickness padding should use, half inch look pretty too. And I just will start sewing the black material with those two piping. And there is one already. And you can tell. If you want to reinforce those piping with another material for the bottom, uh, just making sure I reinforce, uh, make sure to sewing or gluing. Gluing first and then sewing. Just in case if you want to reinforce. And there are, you can see it. So simple and it looks so beautiful. For seat, the center piece of the seat, the insert, dashboard, where it goes straight, it changed complete the, the way how it look. Simple thing with those with those two piping, it changed complete the way how it look. I will put a tap stitch right there. In case we want to reinforce, the reinforce should be right there. I made that uh, the stitch when I uh, put those uh, the red and orange panel together. I made it so small. So now it is time to put a tap stitch. I am using a double stitch uh, presser foot with guy. And there is one top stitch and I will do the same thing on the other side. The color that you pick for the top stitch for the piping means a lot. So make sure to pick a nice color. And there is two piping with top stitch on the side. Look amazing. So simple. This is the bottom. Like I said, you can reinforce from the bottom. That is a sec to you. This is just an example. I make sure in case. If it is for the seat, reinforce it. If it is for a dashboard or door panel, that's a sec to you. I check how it look. So this video is a, was about how you can make a double piping and you saw the whole process. Thank you so much for watching this video. Remember guys, remember, the purpose of my video it is just to give you an idea. There are two way more how you can do uh, make a double piping. 
um, another video, maybe I will show the other way. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoy it. If that was the case, don't forget to hit the like button. Any comment, leave it in the comment section of this video. Thank you.